In fact, what happened in South Africa when I talked to a, sub, a certain journalist and I was asking her why, what, why exactly people are fighting, and she told me that there's a taxi driver who was carrying a Nigerian who is carrying, was carrying drugs. So when this Nigerian guy, when this South African differed with this Nigerian when he was carrying drugs, on why he is selling drugs to the youth, these Nigerians called their fellow Nigerians and they beat this taxi driver to death. That is why in that particular town, South Africans began retaliating and fighting for the sake of the driver who was their, their, their compatriot who was killed. The recent xenophobic attacks in South Africa have rendered many African investors in the South African country losing their property to either burning or looting. Kenyans last evening were asking for compensations for their compatriots in South Africa who have lost their property through burning or looting. We are in the streets of Nairobi to ask Kenyans their opinions in this regard. Uh, the first thing, um, uh, it's very sad that uh, 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 black people are fighting against each other. They are same people, we are same color, we have no reason at all to fight. Despite all our differences, there is nothing that should make us fight by all standards. Number two, uh, um, when you follow up on that case exactly what is happening in South Africa, at one time you would agree with the South Africans because you cannot allow people to come to your country and they dictate to you everything. For example, there's a part, there's a part there called South Beach in Durban, where Nigeria, Nigerians are so many. When a South African go there, not in a South Africa, they'll ask him, what, you are, what are you doing here? And those are the provocations that, even if it happens in Kenya here, it will bring the same reprisal effect, because people will still fight. In fact, what happened in South Africa, when I talked to a, sub, a certain journalist, and I was asking her why, what, why exactly people are fighting, and she told me that there's a taxi driver who was carrying a Nigerian, who is carry, was carrying drugs. So when this Nigerian guy, when this South African differed with this Nigerian when he, who was carrying drugs, on why he's selling drugs to the youth, these Nigerians called their fellow Nigerians, and they beat this taxi driver to death. That is why in that particular town, South Africans began retaliating and fighting for the sake of the driver who was their, their, their compatriot who was killed. So one thing I would only ask Africans that we are now going to a global community. We must make sure that we live within the traditions and the norms of the people that we find there. You cannot come to my house and you take my father and you want to be the head of that family. I will fight you. So the unnecessary provocation is not important. But what is going on in South Africa is a big problem that we have to condemn all of us. Uh, the other Africans who have found themselves in the mix, it is unfortunate that it happened. But uh, um, I think they should be able to find cover on where their people are and even carry their passport to say they are not Nigerians. Because the target, the target there is Nigerians. If you go to Congo, they are not comfortable with Nigerians. If you go to Zimbabwe and Zambia, they are not comfortable with Nigerians. In fact, even a, cro a country that is close to Nigeria as Ghana have a problem with the Nigerians. There is a problem, there is a general trait that Nigerians have. There's, there's unnecessary aggression that other people don't find comfortable. Why do you think there's uh, seemingly uh, an influx of Nigerians in most African countries? Because their country, I think because of the terrorism effect that is going on in their country, and again because of the bulging population and the high rate of unemployment, so they are, going, they are operating like Chinese. They are finding a way they can deposit their population. Unfortunately, they are depositing themselves with their Nigerian cultures, which do not fit in us. Even in Nairobi here, when you go to Kilimani here, we always see Nigerians opening, wanafungua uh, bunduki, wanataku pigana na the Kenyans. Those kind of things we have to make sure that they stop. If you go to Donom, they are doing very crazy things with our ladies. And those are the things that we... In fact, even last, this week, on, on, uh, on Sunday, the, uh, the, the police arrested three people. Uh, some of them were Nigerians with fake money. M-Pesa, they are, they are hacking into our M-Pesa, they are having fake money, illegal trade that are done by, the, done by these guys. We are only asking Nigerians and other foreigners in our country that let them live within the norms and traditions of the people of that host country for them to enjoy the freedom and everything that that country brings to them. Now, as a Kenyan, uh, I will condemn it because it's not the right way to uh, resolve the issues or maybe the pain that they are going through. I understand that they have pain because like living in your own country and you understand that maybe the 80% of the infrastructure or people doing business are foreigners and you are there, it will uh, pain you in a way that you will want to find a solution, uh, on a lasting solution. But the way the, the South Africans are taking things or, uh, in their hands by maybe killing other foreigners like Kenyans, we are always, uh, we are together with our Kenyans who are there, who are suffering. But we want to say this, even if they are in pain, let them look for another way, a civilized way of handling this. They can either 
do it through the government negotiation and uh, maybe uh, they have so many ways of doing which is civilized N rather than killing people looting uh, people because uh, at the end of the day it will also affect their countries they have their people in other countries like they have their people in Kenya they have their people in other countries like West Africa Ghana Nigeria and they will face the same thing they are doing to other people uh, like yesterday I found out that they are the shop rights which is the, uh, has the origin from South Africa, also for, uh, faced the same challenge in South, uh, Nigeria and Ghana. It is sad that it has got to that point where they must use force. But again, as a Kenyan, an African, what they're doing is that's okay. Yes, because uh, there's no way uh, a whole street can have shops by foreigners, owned by foreigners. You know, they also need jobs. So if that is the only way they can use to get jobs, to get uh, to, to, to equally get capital to invest in the country, that is okay. Let them send them in a way, let them get the jobs. Because there's no way an African country can be controlled and run by whites, like it's being done in South Africa. So all they're doing is that's fine. Like I said, it is sad that it's gotten to that point. It is so sad. So I don't want to approve that they should kill, use fire, like force. But if that is the only way they can use, uh, maybe they've maybe they've used uh, they've tried all the other better ways maybe through legislation or something else. But if they can come with a way of uh, of getting their their grievances uh, answered, then it's okay. Kama wa Kenya wame university uko kuna also there are some pure university in Kenya. So if there are some problem, the government they should sort. If there are arrange or ama kwa upupi kama kuna mali kwa huko mingi ya wa Kenya wanaweza rudisha Kenya na waanjili wa watu na watu wafanye kazi kama wanaweza kuwa wametawala hiyo inji kulingana vile nasikia wakielezea wengine kwa TV so must ni wafanye issues na government wasuruishe mambo kama ni wa Kenya warudi kwao wa, wa, wa mbaki kwa inji yao but what is happening in South Africa has really raised a lot, a lot of question uh, what is there what could happen you know before big things happen these small things must must happen so what we are seeing in the tv that is happening in south africa is something that my mind can conceive and uh, i urge the, the 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 african nation to come together so that they can square out this issue of uh, xenophobia because uh, whatever is happening there if you try to to look at the history, uh, if you try to look at the history of South Africa, it is not different with what the South African were, were were doing back then when they were fighting for their for the for their freedom. It should not be repeated because uh, if you don't learn from the history, then we are going nowhere as a as a as African nation. And uh, I, I can urge fellow Kenyans that are in South Africa. If it is, if the environment is not conducive for them to do the business, they can just come to Kenya and uh, start from small, and uh, they will grow.